be honest, if we get lucky, I don't see this happening, especially because of Riku. If by some miracle I manage to finish this entire game, because my stream schedule currently is Monday and Tuesday is Sora, and Thursday and Friday is Riku. If one of the stories gets finished first, then we will swap out the other two days with their story. So say I finish all of Sora's story, then we swap it out with Riku. Oh, there's Hades. Hey, you just got a remake. Cloud's got lost memories, too. Welcome to Olympus Coliseum. Wow, I'm only 26 points. So you know what? There's another shadow in here. Yeah, I swung too early. I, I kind of asked for that. Oh, yeah. The, I forgot they end up here. Yeah, so these guys appeared in... um Deep Jungle during Kingdom Hearts 1. But they're here during Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I thought they just weren't in this game. I forgot that they were here. They appear, I believe, in the Caribbean in Kingdom Hearts 3. Enough for oh, really? Oh, no, I leveled up. I just said no, so let's see. No new slides, so Especially when that card's fire, and that's one of my favorite spells. Because Viagra deals ridiculous damage. 
Especially for how cheap of a spell it is. First card of the floor. Let's use this, because I believe this should give me Blizzard Raid. Hey! Yep. So Blizzard Raid's actually a really good early game command. Oh, slight. Let's see, is this... No, that's the key to truth. Uh, let's use a second Calm Bounty. No, it just says I also upped my deck limit, so... I want to make sure I have open slot. Okay, that's the key to treasure. Okay, yeah, I remember now. You have to go up and turn right. There's the Olympia Keyblade. Very powerful Keyblade. The issue is its recovery, if I remember correctly, is really bad. Oh no, it's really good. Now I'm going to use the Black Room. This is going to spawn a room with a bunch of black fungus. So the Black Fungus Room is unique. The only Heartless that spawns in here is the Black Fungus. Kill them fast. They also only drop calm bounties. I at least do this every couple of floors to build up my inventory of calm bounties. They behave exactly like they do in Kingdom Hearts 1. The other th the only thing is their card number most often is seven. So just slight spam. Just slight spam. Unless you have a lot of eight and nines in your deck. Get back here. Get back here. I need as many Olympias as I get. That's a four. Olympia is one of my main cards for a while. The only issue is it's expensive to put into the deck. Keep away, he's doing the gas, gotta wait till he turns back. It doesn't spawn that many, so take as many as you can get. The other thing I will say about there is a parallel card called the White Room that spawns white mushrooms. The thing is, I don't. Until you have every spell card in the game, or at least it's just me, I don't tend to deal with that room. The reason I'm really trying to get as many, um, I want to get more CP is because I know what the reward for the, that's coming up is, and it is incredibly useful for me.
should be enough Heartless in here that I can level up. Oh, wow! So this is a Mimic. They cannot be surprised attack, and pretty much do not let them get any cards on the board. Because their cards will always be self-destruct. If you don't kill the last one and it self-destructs, then you don't get any new card. You don't get any map card. Sleep in darkness. There's a level up. Card, card, card. Shadows until I get a card level of lower than a two. I'm good just to go nuts with the Keyblade. Shadows outside of Almighty Darkness will always have a card value of two, if I remember correctly. Two to one. Let's see. Five or higher. Seven or higher. And the key to beginning. Don't bl I believe it's the key to truth has what I'm looking for. Wait a second. So there's only three contenders, Cloud, Sora, and Hercules. First one through the obstacle course wins. Rule two, in the event of a tie, a battle will determine the winner. Rule three, you can interfere with opponents on the course. Rule four, all challengers have to give it everything they got. Cloud just walks. Sora and Hercules are running. Cloud just like, meh, I don't have a motorcycle. That just spits us up right by the next one, so let's turn this. No, I'm gonna save the card. I was gonna turn this into a Moogle room, but then I'm like, and then in my head, I'm like, no. If I save the card, I have a chance. Because I don't know when the items of a Moogle room are, like, the car what the contents of a card pack are decided. If it's decided. Um, by the floor, by the net of cards I've done, or when the card is actually used. 
How did Cloud get ahead of us? Tip stores realize what he's doing. This world's made boss is Cloud. Cloud Strife tends to be so he, like Axel, is a humanoid opponent. So he's going to have a deck. This is a double-edged sword for, like, many opponents, and yeah, his cross slash won't break it. Last card before reload. That was a good shot. And the card we got instead of an enemy card is an item card. The high potion. The way the high potion card works is instead of just reloading cards that can be reloaded like potion, it reloads all my attack cards. Key to truth. Nope, oh, that is the key to treasure. I don't think those start those keys start popping up until the next set of worlds. Oh wait, forget I didn't put um high potion into my deck. Cause again, that is a very useful card if you're a slight spammer. My deck is definitely not good for this because the issue is with my deck 
is my over my use of fire spells. Hades is healed by fire. So I just have to avoid them. But he, well, he is healed by fire. Blizzard deals amazing damage. That's it. That's it. Take that. Heal. Take that. Yeah. Take that. Take that. Yeah. Take that. Hopefully Donald doesn't do- DONALD! Wait. Oh, yep, Donald just- uh, th This might be a wipe now because of Donald. And yeah, I'm gonna take it as a wipe because- I forgot to reorganize my deck, which was my fault. And then Donald- I got- I rolled the dice with Donald. Don't- Just, just, just don't use Donald if the enemy absorbs anything. That, that is the prime example why. Let's see here. First things first. Remove all instances of fire. Replace it with blizzard. And then I'm going to drop... Oh, no. No, 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 no. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move that from there. No. Is that really the only zero I've gotten in terms of those car attack cards? Okay. Let's see. Doubles use of magic cards. Power up summon cards. Slightly extends the range of attack cards. Increase swing speed and decrease value of enemy cards when your card is broken. In all honesty, if you use um, Blizzard Raid, he's Hades is kind of a joke. A combination of Blizzard Raid and Blizzaga is, go is going to wreck him. That was the hope I was aiming for with the Donald Magic Level 3. I was hoping I'd get lucky and he'd use magic. I didn't think he'd cast fire twice. Okay, that one much better. See what a little bit of prep work does. I will say this early on. My usual strategy with um the potion versus high potion thing is I'll use potion. I'll use potion, then I I'll, I'll spam. Well, you should actually end up dropping potion. And just stick with the high potion, which I'm probably gonna do here. My thing is, I can use High Potion to recharge all my cards and my slights, but then I have to tone it down a little bit until I get more High Potions.
I don't even think Hercules entered the Hades Cup. And there's the cloud card. That, we are done with Olympus Coliseum. That is another world down. Let me check the time we've got on the stream. Because I know that's only the second of these world cards. Why bring that up? I had to be sure that I hadn't forgotten them. Held that go for you. Good. I remember <laughs> where I was supposed to find the king. Well, I remember that too. The king helped save everything by staying on the other side of the door to darkness, I think. You got it, Dorothy. And me? Yeah. I'm looking for Riku. He was with the king when the door closed. Hmm. And I have something to say after this no cutscene. We will forget the most important memories. That's good, cause I don't want to forget. <laughs> so you notice there they called it the door to darkness instead of Kingdom Hearts. Um, which yeah, no. It is not Kingdom Hearts. It's just what Anselm's Secret of Darkness <laughs> believed was Kingdom Hearts. When in reality it was just the door to darkness. You seem pretty intrigued by this Sora kid. Are you telling me you're not Larxene? <laughs> Haven't decided yet. I think what intrigues me more is what you see in him. There was a time he became a heartless, and if one becomes a heartless, they lose their minds and their feelings. They're consumed by the darkness. Right, but not Sora. He held on to his feelings even as a heartless. And there's only one other man who's been able to do just that. It's the strength of his heart. That's what interests you. Why the Keyblade shows Sora's heart. To unlock the mysteries of the heart. Isn't that the organization's mission? <laughs> it's funny because I know what they are. Well, everyone does. Hmm. If we did, what would it have been? I can't think of anything, so maybe that means that I really am losing my memories. But whatever they were, they couldn't have been very important memories, right? Right. Or else I don't think you would have forgotten it. Nah. Look. What is that? A keychain. A good luck charm Kyrie gave me. It's special to her. So I promised that I would return it. I'll never forget making that promise. It's why I could never forget Kyrie. Am I right, Kyrie? Huh? Oh. 
That was new. Do I know that girl? Oh, Flower, where did you go? Sorry, never mind. We better keep going. Welcome to the fourth floor. <laughs>